Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we are changing the knuckle bushings on this L322. We have a jack stand on the frame. So tires off the ground. I have this in off-road mode. And the hood open. It's not fully latched. They'll keep the suspension kind of uh, in a service mode locked to where it's at. So it's not going to uh, move on you as you're working on it. You can also keep the door open. That'll uh, achieve the same thing. Now we'll get the wheel off, we'll take a look underneath and uh, start doing our, our bushing, knuckle bushings on this side. Now you can definitely deflate this airbag and work with it that way. I'm not going to do that. I did the other side with the airbag, everything intact. Uh, just by using a jack underneath the control arm once we're doing the lower arm and a jack stand underneath. It's not going to go anywhere, so let's get started. To change these knuckle bushings, we'll attack the upper one here first, and then the lower. So I have a jack stand under the control arm, or a jack at this, this point. Once we have it where we need it, we'll actually put a jack stand under the control arm. There is a jack stand under the truck, holding the truck. Um, so I've marked my camber bolts, so I can at least put them back in the same position before we can get the truck to an alignment shop. Um, now again, before you try breaking these loose, you want to just get new ones. In most cases, these do break like it did on me on the other side, so I have new ones here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and loosen this up. We'll take the caliper off with the bracket. We'll get that out of the way, and we'll start taking the bushing out. For the upper bushing, which was, uh, I believe, a 21 millimeter. 18 on the other side. So I was able to heat it and remove that nut, but unfortunately that bolt is stuck in the bushing. There is no way that will come out of there. Uh, so I'll plan on cutting it. I'll take a grinding wheel or even a reciprocating saw with the with the metal blade and cut right through the bushing and the bolt and remove it that way. That is the only option at this point. And that's very common with any bolts actually that go through a bushing. They tend to seize right in the metal sleeve of the bushing. Um, and then they just don't want to come out. I was able to take a cutoff wheel on a grinder and cut both sides of the bolt off the inner side. Now the con the knuckle is out of the control arm. So obviously we can pull them out this way on that one. I might have to cut this a little bit more, cut it flush, get that bushing off and that will pop out. I was able to get the bottom control bolt out. Usually those, those are not an issue. You can see how they tend to rust up inside, and that's how they seize up. But by heating this, I was able to get that out without an issue. Same thing on the other side. So your top one are the trouble ones, those you do want to replace. I would replace them both if you can, the bottom and the lower, or bottom and the upper. So at this point, we can go ahead and push our bushings in and out, or out and in by using a ball joint press this is the setup I had it's just a big ball joint press here this happens to be a snap-on um, by place pushing it right on the center of this it actually came out fairly easy and I just used a cup on the other end to push it into so I had the cup here obviously the bushing here and I was able to just push it right on the center of it and just push it out this way um, so now that we have that out, I need to get a new bolt for this and some new bushings. We will also be replacing the bottom bushing on this control arm. That's here. I've already got the nut out and the bolt out. So we'll also be using the ball joint press to take that bushing out. Here we have our new bushing. This is the upper bushing. Here was the old one. So you want to kind of compare to make sure you got the right part. Now pushing this back in, you can see one edge of it is completely flat. And one side's kind of rounded. That's the side you want to go in through. It'll be easier to get it in that way. We'll use a tool just like this on that ball joint press. That's going to go over our bushing. And we'll use this edge to push the bushing in. We don't want to push from the center to separate that from there. Um, so again, you want to choose something that's going to go over your, your rubber, rubber seals and be able to push on the metal edge of the, the bushing itself. 
So we'll go ahead and set that up with the ball joint right on the knuckle and we'll get that pressed in. I was able to get that bushing, the upper bushing, into this knuckle with fairly ease. This is the setup I had. Ball joint press. I actually ended up using an inch and a half socket. That was perfect. That went right over the over the rubber seal or the rubber boot. That just catches the edge of the bushing to push that in. Uh, so I, you know, so that was a setup I had here, and I had a cup on the other side that's actually bigger than the bushing, so the bushing had uh, some room to go into. And again, that worked out perfect. So I had that cup on this side, and I pushed it in with the socket on the other side. So that worked out perfect. So at this time, the upper bushing is done. We'll go ahead and hang it here with a punch or, or even the bolt holding it in. And then we'll go ahead and work on the, on the bottom. I was able to re uh, remove the 22 millimeter bolt that's holding it here in the lower control arm. And here's our bushing that we need to replace in the knuckle. Uh, this one was definitely bad. That was actually most of my problem on this particular truck. Here is our bottom bushing. It is quite a bit bigger than the upper. Now the upper bushing can go in either way. Being the bottom bushing, this actually has a lip and it has a slot right in here that's cut right into that. And there is a lock ring that will hold it in once it's in. So that lock ring on the old one needs to be removed so we can push that one out. Now again, being that this lip is here, that's what seats up against the knuckle, so that will have to be pushed out this way. And obviously when you're pushing it in, it'll go the other way. Uh, so we'll be pushing against this to push it back in. But when you're coming out, so you want to find a cup that'll go up and over this rubber boot and catch the lip of this. So once we have that lock ring removed from, from the old one, we should be able to push it out that way. By using a punch and a hammer on the bottom bush or on the bottom bushing here, I was able to take that lock ring off of this side here. Uh, so now we should be able to push this bushing out towards the front using our ball joint press. By using a similar setup as we did up did for the top bushing, I was able to get the bottom bushing out of the knuckle here, as you can see. Um, here's our old bushing. So I was able to use a big cup towards the front of the vehicle that fits completely over it so it can fall into that. And I just pushed it out with the center of my ball joint press. I didn't use any cup on this side. It does tend to push the center out, but that's okay. This piece on there was big enough to catch the cone end of this and push the whole thing out. Now we can go ahead and just basically use that setup the other way and get our new bushing in. So our new cup will have to push it right off of this lip on the new bushing. So that will get set in just like that and push in this way and then we'll install the, the locking clip onto the end of it here. Bottom bushing all the way in. We also have the, the locking ring back on as you can see. Now the easiest way I figured how to do that was to just put the lock ring on top of it and take your cup that fits over the, the bushing and just give it a smack and it'll push it in and it'll go right into that groove and lock itself in. Uh, another thing you know that does help is I, I put a piece of wood block on here up against the control arm. That holds the knuckle away so you can you can complete your work. Gives you a little bit better access. Now of course you can unbolt the whole knuckle from the vehicle by undoing the axle and the other things and completely have the knuckle off and you can work at it that way. I didn't feel that was necessary. It wasn't too bad to do it on the vehicle. Now all we have to do is get the knuckle back into the control arms, upper and lower, and we'll put our bolts back in. Here I have the new cam bolts that I ordered. These are the ones we had to cut off. Those are the ones that adjust the camber on top side of the knuckle or the control arm. These go through the upper bushings. Now, if you do need the nuts, everything is, is sold separately. So when you order that, you will not get the nuts. It'll just be the bolts. And if you need the cam, everything has to be ordered separately. I'm going to end up reusing my old stuff. I had some other ones laying around here. That'll work also. I did get the lower bolts also. 
those I will not need. So let's go ahead and put these in. We will anti-seize both of these before they go in. Now one thing you will need to do, obviously your camber adjustment is done up here with this bolt. Uh, so the truck will need to be aligned after you're done. I'll try to put it back as best as I can, eyeballing it or putting it back where it was originally. Uh, but still, it will need to go to the alignment shop to get that reset.